Hello, welcome back to Parenting with DBT. Uh, today I'm going to continue my review of the accept skill. Uh, so far we've done activities, comparing, contribute, we've done emotions, and today we're going to cover the skill of pushing away. Uh, so I'm just going to start in Parenting with DBT that I'm pulling some material on this skill from DBT skills, the DBT skills training manual by Marsha Linehan, uh, a very, probably one of the best skills books that I know of, if not the best. So I am gonna read from here and then I'm gonna put things into parenting, to parenting terms. Pushing away. So pushing away is a skill that we use when our distress level is moderate, maybe from a three out of 10 to about a seven out of 10. If we might be using this skill, if we're coming off of the tip skill. So maybe if we were in extreme distress at maybe a nine or a 10 out of 10, perhaps we used some ice or did extreme or did intense exercise in order to calm down. And even though we're calmer, we may still be experiencing moderate amounts of distress. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work on push away as a way to even reduce our distress more or just by keeping ourselves from making things worse or acting on the urge. So I'll, uh, I'll read pushing away and in the manual, this is uh, 400, page 441. Pushing away. Pushing away from a painful situation can be done by leaving it physically or by blocking it from one's mind. Leaving the situation decreases contact with its emotional cues. Blocking is a somewhat conscious effort to inhibit thoughts, images, and urges associated with negative emotions. One form of blocking is to repeatedly put off destructive behaviors for brief periods of time. Blocking is a bit like riding a bicycle people only understand it when they do it. Most individuals seem able to do this and will usually know what you mean as soon as you mention the technique. It is perhaps related to the ability to disassociate or depersonalize. It should not be the first technique tried, but can be useful in an emergency. The secret is to not overuse it. So let's talk about this from a parent's point of view. Family members might create us to feel very intense emotions or we're feeling a very intense emotion and our family members are around, particularly our adolescents or our children. We want to, uh, we, can, we can push away in a couple ways. Um, the first way is that we could actually distance ourselves from the cues that might bring that out. So let's say, let's say a child has, let's say a child was told to clean up a mess and we can feel, boy, I'm going to be very angry if I go down to the living room and the mess has not been cleaned up. So you're feeling so angry that you want to just yell at them and you're going to go downstairs and you're going to go look at that mess. And if that mess is not clean, then you're really going to, you're going to let them have it, right? Instead, because you know that you're not in wise mind and you know that you're going to act in a way that you're going to regret later, you actually put off going to the living room until you're calm. And so even though you have a pretty good feeling the mess is still gonna be there, you put off going to the living room because seeing the mess in the living room and then seeing your child or adolescent sitting on the couch watching TV is gonna really activate you. And so you put off that entire situation. The, the other way is by literally like, just kind of programming yourself. Um, so this would be, so let's go back here. 
Uh, one form of blocking is to repeatedly put off destructive behaviors for periods of time. So this is like procrastinating in a good way. If you know that you argue with your spouse about finances, then you can just little by little put off having that conversation until you're in the right mind frame to do it. So instead of, and, and you can do this, you can do this consciously. Uh, if you're the one that wants to propose the conversation or if you're the one that's feeling a lot of stress about it, you can put off engaging with the person until you're calm. And you can do this just by telling yourself, you know what, let's give this a couple more hours. Let's give this another hour and you can wait. And this is the art of pushing away. Why do you do it? To keep yourself from making your life worse. How do you do it? You can remove yourself from whatever situation prompts you to get more upset. Or you can just tell yourself, I'll do it a little later. I'll do it a little later. And there's a few more other ways to do that. Um, if you have other ways to block, feel free to leave something in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Again, this is Parenting with DBT. I'm Matt Metcalf, a licensed clinical social worker in California and a certified dialectical behavioral therapist. Until we meet again, take care.